Jim's future advice for people on the internet. For all those content creators that want to have a successful career, here's Jim's future advice. So Medica retired the other day and he gave some actually pretty good advice for the internet or for the people in the internet that are going to continue to inhabit this crazy, crazy space. A lot of things he said was pretty common knowledge, well, at least for me and what I would imagine to be for other YouTubers and entertainers because it was pretty on the mark and it's pretty simplistic. Number one, don't use Discord. I don't know what it is about Discord, if it's some kind of satanic curse, if there's hoodoo voodoo involved, if it's just pure stupidity from horniness. But people that use Discord generally fall into a trap of having all their shit implode. And it will happen to you. It'll happen to you because you'll be directly involved in it, or it'll happen to you because your community will start something and you'll get blamed for it. But it will happen. It'll involve animals, or children, or piss drinking, or shit eating, or some other horrendous thing that will absolutely destroy you. So whatever you do, whatever program you want to use, don't use Discord. Although, actually understanding the depth to what he was saying is a different story, and having the experience to go ahead and work that in the field is also a different story. That being said, he pretty much said anything and everything, uh, God, it always comes back to me, I don't want to be a narcissist, but everything that I've been saying for like months, uh, just more condensed. It's just a terrible idea. That's advice number one for all you future content creators. Uh, advice number two, uh, very simple, uh, don't piss your audience off. You can fight with your audience on occasion, have a little banter back and forth, talk a little shit here and there. But if you become adversarial with your audience, you've lost. I see a lot of people use the term pay pig, and it is funny. The term pay pig, it's a funny thing. But there's some people out there that have actual vitriol behind it. It's not like a little joke. They really mean it. They really, you know, they're demeaning the people that are paying the money and watching their shit. That's a bad idea. <laughs> think of any business on earth and ask yourself is that smart if i went into a restaurant or if i went onto a car lot and the guy that was selling something to me walked up and said look at this fucking pay pig right and you know it, it was nice of him to impart that knowledge for anybody else that wants to carry on and do this youtube thing whether full-time part-time ho hobby whatever right and regardless of whatever roast you want to throw at Medicare or whatever, right, which I threw my, you know, three, and I stand by them, 100%, yeah. But I feel like acknowledging and paying a little bit of an homage is also warranted. Because even if you dislike someone, even if you want to absolutely roast them, if they do something worthwhile, if they do something notable... Why wouldn't you point out that fact? And given that this is the end of an era, so to speak, at least for the whole, uh, it's like a lot of nostalgia, a lot of like fond memories. And you know what? Whether you want to admit it or not, you know, I, I, yeah, I'll go on record saying Medicare was an inspiration to many out there. I'd say, so try to try to treat your audience a little, you know, a, a little bit of respect. It'll go a long way. Uh, and then uh, advice number three, uh, find what you're good at and enjoy doing and do that rather than the trend. Right. He was. And you know it. You know it. I mean, for fuck's sakes, Ethan Ralph is a inspiration to Augie RFC, even though he won't admit it. But you can just as well tell by the way he copies all of Ralph's mannerisms that he was. So anybody that's an e-celeb out there will have a influence on people that watch them. Basically, that's just how it goes, and the quicker you admit that, the better life will be. Anyway, that being the case, yes, Jim Medeker, you were an inspiration to many. Um, at some point, I was not impressed, but that is okay, because that should not dictate whether or not people should continue to watch you or not, or whether or not people should continue to idolize you over the years. It does not matter. It is simple thoughts put out into the YouTube sphere for clicks, for views, for discussion, for the grift. <laughs>
uh, mostly for me, it's like the interaction. I want to see how people get angry and stuff. That's right, get mad. But yeah, I mean, this consider this my homage, my tribute to Jim Medeker as a entertainer. Whether or not he's made the smartest decisions in the last year, uh, I'm not sure. But, however, hearing how he was having just the absolute worst time, and given that I don't believe he is lying due to the way he went ahead and told us the story of his painful, painful, painful situation, uh, I'd say it's at least fair to say thank you, Medeker, for what you have done as an influencer to people in the internet, whether for good, whether for bad. An undeniable fact is that you were, indeed, an influencer. Thank you. Have a good rest of your night. Peace.